So yeah, if we focus on nuclear power, then we could power enough fans to cool down the whole world. Solving global warming. Wow, that was the stupidest idea I've ever heard in my whole life. Joe, not only would that be impossible, but even if that would work, it would literally take at least 100 years. And just live longer. Not so easy for us, you fucking fossil. Just get good. How would that even be possible? No point in asking that Obama Joe probably forgot already. Actually, where is Trump? Is he not going to join us? You know, he's always late to these things, Joe. But maybe right now he's trying to escape the police. Again. Yeah, I have no fucking clue how they even allowed that shit in the debates. Wait, what happened? Was that part where they showed some of my baby pictures? If they are any of your baby pictures, they were probably carved in stone. But no, just search up debate leak. Oh boy, I hope they leaked some of Kamala's nudes. So we're back from the commercial break. Let me introduce you to the new studio. Why the hell are we on a green screen? Sorry for that, President Trump. What were you saying? I was wondering, why in the hell are we on a green screen? You know what type of power you're giving the people, right? Don't worry about that, Mr. President. This is only so we don't have to waste time on a good background. So, you're broke? And you aren't? Anyways, let's continue this debate with VP Kamala Harris. What do you think about the immigration problem that we are facing? I think we should deport those boys. President Trump, we were asking Kamala Harris, please wait your turn. Thank you for your response, now President. What the fuck you mean, thank you for your response? She said nothing. What are you laughing about, bitch? Now President Trump, if you would like to respond to what Kamala said, that's okay, but just keep the swearing to a minimum. We're live. I don't give a flying fuck if we're live or not. She literally said nothing. How do you expect me to respond to nothing? She was very clear on her stance, President Trump. But this question is getting you a bit worked up. So let's move on. This is complete bullshit. Okay, let's start with you, President Trump. How would you handle global warming? The hell is global warming? Is that a new item in McDonald's? <laughs> Such a wonderful response, Kamala, or maybe I should call you President Kamala. Is this a fucking joke? No one was talking to you, fat ass. 763 Big Rock Cove, DeSoto, Texas. I... I'm sorry? That's where your family lives, right? Hey, let's calm down now, President Trump. You may want to call them. It may be the last time you hear from them. Cut to commercial. Poor Dr. Young. Still, you know how Mr. J hates a squealer. <laughs> Talking about squealers. Oh, what I would do to be in his place. Both of you are old as hell, but at least one of them isn't a freak. You do know Harley would probably just beat your old ass up, right? Even better. And the Donald has finally joined in? Man, I'm surprised we're even hearing from you after what you did. Did you forget what the Supreme Court ruled? Yeah, a common Supreme Court L. Granting you immunity to basically anything. Except tax fraud. Shut it, Joe. Don't ruin my week. Just like how you ruined J.D. Vance's week? I know the guy's weird, but completely discrediting your own VP pick is crazy. That motherfucker just keeps spouting random shit and I'm getting sick of it. My brother in Christ, you picked your VP. You guys should have stopped me. I'm not even running for the presidency, but I bet if I did, your dumb ass wouldn't even get picked. Keep talking like that, George, and maybe some missiles will land on your home. Try it, bitch. I got 40 tons of TNT underneath Trump Tower waiting to blow up. I, I think that would cause more damage than toppling Trump Tower. As much as I like explosions, this is being done in American soil, so please just stop. And why would you care? Weren't you born in Kenya? George, this better make 9-11 look like a fucking joke. Let's just all calm down. No need for World War III. Joe's right. Let's just all calm down before we do something we regret. We're friends after all. Yeah, maybe I did go a bit too far. Sorry, guys. That's probably the only time we'll ever hear you apologize, but I'm sorry too. All right, let's continue on. Ew, who the hell is this bitch? Okay, no more nice Donald. Joe, you delusional old bastard. How dare you speak about poison ivy like that? 
Got to agree with Trump. What the hell did I just hear come out your mouth? I may not be a gooner like you or Donald, but even I know that you're spouting some bull. You guys can't be serious. You're defending this hippie-looking bitch. I know with your age, your vision must be complete garbage, but I didn't expect you to just dismiss such an amazing design. Like I said before, I don't agree with Trump very much, but I know sexy when I see it. I know I stay silent when talking about scandalous women, but even Michelle would understand that calling Poison Ivy ugly is a war crime. Did you guys forget that she's basically a plant in the Arkhamverse? Here I thought the furry community was bad, but you guys literally want to fuck a plant. A hot looking plant, I must say. Nah, I'll stick to my human characters. Thank you very much. Harley! Ah! You have to help me. Ivy? Gee, you look like crap. Maybe I can sneak you some shampoo. The plants, can't you hear them? They're crying out to me in agony. Yeah, well, I barely don't have time for this. Please let me out. They'll die without me. I don't know, Red. You're not on Mr. J's party list. Oh, well. Uh, please! Uh, ah, what the heck. I'll cut you a break. Talk about a nuisance. I just hope this leads to a Harley boss fight. This plant is ruining my experience. Is this like a fetish or something? You don't even know George. This guy bought a Harley Quinn costume so Jill can cosplay as her. Okay, it's definitely a fetish. Yeah, I went pretty deep in that rabbit hole. I even have a few new characters I like. I can say with confidence that no one wants to hear your crazy take. Just like we didn't want to hear your voice in the debate. Yeah, you were saying some crazy shit before the commercial break. Like claiming that the Haitians are eating cats and dogs? How the fuck did they let you say that shit? Because they know it to be true. Except it's not. The closest thing to that was an American woman eating her cat. And that was in Ohio. I was still half right. Obama, don't even bother with this clown. He's clearly too far gone. That's ironic. Yeah, this debate was bad, but not as bad as the first one. You were getting cooked, Joe. I ain't gonna lie, I was getting cooked. See, I told you losers that I would win this debate. Donald, you didn't win shit, but I also see that Kamala didn't win anything either. You guys are still neck and neck. Now we gotta wait till October 1st to see the VPs. That could make or break it. Fuck! Yeah, I really can't see a future where JD doesn't embarrass himself. You never know, George. Maybe JD pulls all the stops and cooks Tim Waltz. I'll eat a boot if that happens. Surprise! Yes! Calm down there, Joe. Remember, your heart can't take a lot. Fuck that. My beautiful Clussy is back. Did you just call Harley Quinn Clussy? I can't even blame Joe too much, but just tone down the creep factor a bit. I cannot promise anything while my beautiful Clussy is here. Christ, should we stop bothering with his nonsense? I'll rather keep him in check than to see where that twisted mind wanders to. Just look at Trump, for instance. Hey! True, but it does get hard trying to stop him. You know I'm here in a full-grown man, right? You don't act like a grown man at all. And you do? Look, Joe, just keep the creep factor to a minimum, or at least keep it to one section at a time. You guys do know he'll just forget this conversation, right? And we keep telling you to stop spouting whack shit, but you still do it. This actually got me thinking, how the hell did they set up these traps up so damn fast? I mean, Arkham is where all the Trump and Joes go, so they probably already do some of these things normally. I would cream my pants if I knew that Harley was so close to me. The hell are you clumping me with creepy geriatric Joe? Wait, do you think Harley would be into diapers? Scratch that, if Joe wasn't such a freak, then both of you would be identical on the whack shit you spout out. And don't even try to defend yourself, Trump. Your ass is getting caught daily with nonsense. Screw you guys! Even if you losers don't think I won the debate, which I did, then I'll just have to train Vance and make him beat walls. Here he comes, Mr. J. Excellent. I'll leave it to you then, my dear. Get him! Okay, Joe, keep your creepy outburst to a minimum. Aye, aye, sir. You should just mute him, Barack. Why are you ignoring the issue, George? This isn't a Hurricane Katrina incident. And why are you deflecting Donald? This isn't January 6th. All right, how about we just calm down, guys? And don't you dare bring up any of my shit I did as president. How about those times when you and I- You shut the hell up, Joe, unless you want your search history to be revealed. Die, you big ugly bat! <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Okay, this should be a good spot to stop. I'll see you guys next time then. Maybe we'll have a calm week this time. I doubt it, George, but one can dream. What the fuck? What is it now? Vance just went on NBC and told them that we lied about the dog and cat eating thing. Yeah, this country is doomed. I need a stress reliever. Maybe golfing can help me out. This October 1st can't get here any quicker. We should really be taking these debates more seriously, but I can admit that October 1st is going to be special. We'll see you guys next time. What the? I thought we ended the... Oh my goodness! Holy shit, we have over 3,537 subscribers. Okay, now I see why I'm here. Well, first of all, I wanted to thank you guys for your support over the past year. I know I don't have the greatest content, but I hope that at the very least, I made some of you guys laugh with these goofy videos. I can't thank you enough for sticking around for this long, and I hope that you can continue to support this channel. I'm planning on adding some crazy new content soon. Hopefully, I can showcase some of it by next month. But for now, I wanted to thank you guys for always watching and commenting on each video. But for now, go make a donut and have a great rest of your week.